everyone, happy Tuesday, just checking in while I remember. So next door is laying all the pipes and stuff in the slab. And of course, we're back to the whole swearing every five minutes. What are you doing, you F-head? Don't put that there. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm in the office, I'm right next door. And uh, it literally has just started pouring out of nowhere. Now, it's rain forecast for all week. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, <laughs> but it just started pouring, and this guy's like, "Eff and turn the water off." <laughs> it's raining, dude. You can't just ring up God and be like, "Mate, can you just turn it off for five minutes?" <laughs> and then, he, and then the other guy's like, "Eff and get out of the way." <laughs> he just starts running to the car. As if he's like, no idea what rain is. And it's like, gonna kill him if it touches him or something. <laughs> They're all really young out there as well. So, oh, funny. Just, yeah. Uh, we're just chilling here this morning. Uh, it's Tuesday morning, what can I say? I'm so sore from cleaning for like two massive days. I really shouldn't get any public holidays. I clean a lot. Yeah. And yeah, the weather's going to be terrible all week, apparently. So my lounge room will be a Chinese washing laundry service. Absolutely. I uh, have, of course, a long list of things to do this week as per normal. So that's exciting. But the countdown to school holidays is coming. So I'm hanging for that because hopefully I'll get some stuff done. Right. We've got about an hour before we need to leave, so we'll see where we end up. It's wet out there. And I think all the workmen have gone home for the day. <laughs> everyone happy tuesday afternoon um uh, just got home from teaching zumba the weather is absolutely dreadful today um went and did a little bit of markdown shopping and we got one thing i got some chicken pops marked down to four dollars they're 400 grams so it works out a dollar a hundred grams which is on par with pretty much what i say is a good price um <laughs> Sorry, it's making noise. Uh, and that that's it. Uh, there was pretty much nothing else out there. I don't know whether they did a massive clean out Sunday night, which is what I'm seeing a lot of pictures come up, being that Monday was the long weekend for the monarch's birthday. Monarch, king, whatever you want to say, I've read both of them. It was the long weekend. That's what we'll say. Um, I did get the toy catalogue from Big W though, so is that were worse. And not that really my children are much into toys. But they're... Oh, okay. Let's just turn the radio off. Um, but there is a Lego in here. And there are um, like the Nintendo DS. And then also sometimes they have social media stuff here really cheap. So... It's always good just to kind of have a look and see what's there. Um, just stay in touch with some things. Like, yeah, a whole lot of the DS games and stuff. But it's funny. Some of these prices are pre, um, like, inflation anyway. <laughs> so the price that has come down to is the price that it was like a year ago. It's the same with, oh, that's right. Dyson's, look, this is a kid's toy, but it reminds me. I got a Dyson V7, I think it is. I got it because it was at Big W, everyday low price for $599 on sale for $399. And I waited and I waited and I waited because the last promo of Avon was to earn this Dyson. 
and of course Avon closed before we got the opportunity but they did give us $400 cash because they said it's valid at $400 so I put that money away and I was like one day I'm gonna buy a Dyson with that money and I did and it was yeah $399 on sale and I waited and waited and waited and when it hit at like a mid-year thing as well I got like 20 times the points uh, for the purchase or whatever it was and then when I went in there I scanned it and then she said that automatically um also it's got me a ten dollar voucher so I just said yeah apply it so then it only cost me three hundred eighty nine dollars and I use it all the time I absolutely love it but I laugh because it's always on sale for three hundred ninety nine dollars and the bulk price keeps going up but when it comes on sale it's still three hundred and ninety nine dollars and I'm like Mm -hmm. that's one of those things that's like it'll come on sale again don't don't panic it, it'll be back <laughs> yeah. so yeah it's funny i'm sure that kira wants this um baby grogu -goo that's here baby yoda uh oh and then i just ran into a friend some people baffle me she's like what are you doing here i'm like shopping she's like oh, that's funny what it's like you're here and i'm here that's cool that's funny okay okay <laughs> clearly i'm laughing now but i was very puzzled i don't know why it's funny because also it's my local area not hers so what are you doing here oh i live here Oh, weird. Uh, and then they're like, how's the kids? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> I don't give a whole lot of information. They're like saying, tune into YouTube and you can hear all about it. <laughs> and uh, I said, what are you up to? And she told me. I was like, that's great. And I said, well, I better go. Because <laughs> I thought, I don't know how to stretch this conversation out any further. Apart from, it's funny <laughs> that we're both here. Seriously, what? <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Yeah, so I've wasted my time trying to look for some markdowns. So I think what I'll do is that I will head to Woolworths tonight looking for some more markdown chicken because I know that my hubby enjoys having the roast chook in sandwiches. So hopefully I'll get a couple of roast chooks and then we can have that during the week. Do some wraps and some other things too. And also need to get a loaf of bread so yeah and I won't do my flyby spend until um from tomorrow onwards because the half price specials I think for next week are pretty good I had a quick look at the catalog a few things jumped out to me that I can't even remember now but yeah we'll get there eventually uh, but yeah also just wanted to come home because I'm gonna get another coffee and also got some editing for some YouTube things to be done so let's go just editing a what's for dinner video and i just remembered a comment that someone said to me and had to share it's so funny um so obviously friends of mine who are in the fitness industry they're fit and healthy and they eat really well because they like tomatoes and pesto gnocchi and all that stuff good on you not saying there's anything wrong with that if you like it but anyway we buy stuff from colds the like big chicken palmies whatever and i had posted to show how i break it all down and price it and this lady goes oh huh no don't eat that and i, I went well it was too late now because i posted that video a week ago and i've also bought it and i've opened the packet and we've actually eaten some so she's like oh don't eat any more then I understand what she's trying to say it's processed rah, rah, rah. but you know what like yeah, yeah I don't know I <laughs> just don't eat that too late <laughs> do you have anyone else who tells you what you should and shouldn't do with food it's um interesting to say the least TikTok's the worst oh my god don't eat that do you know where that comes from yep the shop because <laughs> I'm really rude and I just snap back with um cheeky comments and they're just like seriously i'm like no i'm not being serious but anyway 
because some people do my head in so I just think I'm gonna do your head in <laughs> all right more editing let's go <laughs> Hey everyone, oh my hair's a mess. <laughs> I'm just about to go for a massage, so I'm sure she doesn't really care what my hair looks like. It'll look much worse when I finished. <laughs> um, I just had to laugh because I've turned the car on and I'm about to go. It's tried to connect to my daughter's music that's inside the house, and I've sat there trying to turn it up because I'm like, I don't know what this song this is, so I was trying to turn it up. I don't know if that's affected in there, so I'm going to just pop back in there in a second and ask her. <laughs> oh, I probably woke her up as well. So, yeah, that's funny. Um, last night I had this brilliant idea that um, I was going to go for a walk on the Wednesdays uh, like I did, I did the other week. I'm not sure if I shared with you guys went for a walk like along the beach type area and I was really good and I was like oh today because the weather's just dodgy I might not do a walk thing I might go to like a friend's she does like an easy walk gentle exercise thing I thought oh that'd be really good because I'm wanting to go um because I think that's one of the classes that's going to get cut next term where we have no news on that either sitting ducks right now um and they kept saying we'd have an answer last week and they haven't made a decision which is kind of good news that they haven't made a decision but then it's also bad because sometimes like last time they made the decision and it created so much noise and backlash that they had to like step backwards um which probably will happen again that a lot of noise and stuff will happen but I think that the next time they make a decision it will be final and I just feel that people won't have any closure uh, with what's going on so yeah anyway uh, and then I remembered oh you've got a massage today <laughs> so I'm not giving that up for anything in the world definitely gonna go in that that's also my therapy session I go there and go ah <laughs> she's a friend of mine as well so it's so funny and it's funny because she says to me well I said gosh 60 minutes goes really long like really quick and she's like that's why I like to book people for 90 minutes because it gives them time to relax and I go I am not here for a tea party <laughs> get in massage me get me out uh, I understand people come to you for the whole experience and the chill and the atmosphere. And I'm just like, I want a massage. <laughs> so she laughs because she knows me and she's like, you're a no frills kind of person. You're just like, get the job done. And I'm like, and I'm really sorry if that just isn't your vibe. <laughs> but, you know, and she's like, no, nah, I get it. Totally get it. Uh, also, last night, oh my gosh, so funny. Kira showed me this paper. I have to put up a screenshot and I'll try and put a link down in the description below. Apparently on Tumblr, I'm still learning what all this online stuff is. Someone wrote a paper and it just goes chicken, 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 chicken. <laughs> and then there's a flow chart and it goes chicken, 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 chicken. And then there's um, like the periodic table, chicken, 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 chicken. And then there's a... Uh, molecule bonds type thing like you see your coffee like coh etc and it just goes chicken 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 <laughs> and i was like what apparently someone submitted it for an assignment or something i don't know yeah and then a guy stood there and gave a lecture <laughs> and then some guy asked a question apparently it was like chicken 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 and the guy says ah and clicked and a new slide comes up and he goes chicken 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 <laughs> oh my gosh some people have too much time on their hands oh seriously oh that made me laugh so much and then last night my husband he's so smart it frustrates me i swear to god he's such not a girl such a boy and i'm sorry if that insults anyone gender equality and all that but you know, the typical straight down the line thinking. Last night I helped out a friend and when he got home from work, I was telling him about it and I was so proud of myself. And I said, oh, and then I just said to her, if anyone asks, just say, uh, Kelly helped you out. Oh no, Kelly sorted it out. And 
X, Y, Z. I had a, this little bit at the end, which I don't want to tell you about. It might give it away. But anyway, and he goes, okay, well, why not just say Kelly sorted it for you? And I went, yeah, da, 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 da. And he goes, no, not the da, 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 da. Just, I spoke to Kelly and she sorted it. I went, <laughs> but no, <laughs> because people will ask her then how this thing got fixed. And he's like, that's none of their business. I go, mate, <laughs> women, chat. Women need to know things. Women need to go, but how? Just in case maybe this thing happens again and they can help in some way. And he goes, well, then they can be approached if they need help. Or just say, well, if you ever need help again, let me know. I'm happy to see if I can help next time. I'm like, I hate how right you are. <laughs> oh, so proud. I didn't lie, but it was just like enough of a thing uh because once we were then in this next situation people do sort of chat and under like chat with well how did you fix this thing and people want to know and you know so yeah i don't know <sighs> i'm sorry i'm very vague but i just don't want to give any specifics away in case um they're watching or someone else is but yeah it's like I said, I'll help anyone with anything. It doesn't faze me. But um, it was just how basic, like, well, they don't need to know, mate. <laughs> He's like, well, would you want to know? I said, yes, I would want to know. He's like, see, but it doesn't matter. I said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, funny. And then last night, um, I'm clearing off my old phone. Apparently, I've got a whole lot of footage on there that I took of some meal prep and some meals and I've uploaded it ready to go. So you'll see that before this. And clearly I was doing a, this is how much it cost us for the week. At the start, because a couple of meals have prices written on the bags for the meat. And then by the end of the week, it's just, nah. <laughs> and I think also I've merged in some Audi meals because I obviously had that come up as that I was riding a challenge off the back of another challenge for my own personal good not the collab or anything I filmed this back in December so I've sat there and looked at it I need to edit it a bit more and really nut it out I'm pretty sure it was like the week two so the back end of week one of the first like $90 Audi spend that I did and then I had leftover stuff and then I bought stuff just to top up. I think I'm going to release it. I think I'm though going to do a couple of screenshots to go. This was filmed in December because the plan was it was meant to back that. Because one, it's really good footage. So I want to release it. And I think even though the prices have gone up a bit, at least it gives you a little bit of an indication about some ideas. Because we've got leftovers and then how to use that um for a new week and stuff so showing people that you can roll over food and ideas and stuff like that uh and then also three it gets it off my phone <laughs> because i've got about four or five videos sitting there on my phone at the moment that are all like mid planning like a couple of them are trying to be like a month-long project and i'm just i'm out of room so i'm forever filming stuff and then going especially when i do cleaning stuff if i do like two massive days of cleaning i'm putting everything together that's there with that and it's just it's all over the joint um yeah right i'll go inside quickly and just talk to kira about the music uh, and then we'll head to our massage. Let's go. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I'm 
I'm struggling to know what day of the week it is because we had the Monday public holiday and every day I've literally woken up and looked at my phone and gone, what time is it? Um, here's my coffee today. Merry and bright. <laughs> I don't feel very bright. Oh, I'm going to need that today. It's probably going to be a two coffee day. I've got a lot on as per normal. Uh, I went to bed at like one o'clock in the morning. Tossed and turned for about an hour. And then start hearing what I thought was my daughter <clears throat> rearranging her room at 2.30 in the morning. Actually, it was about 20 past two. And was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, because we do get these spouts of, let's do this thing. I can hear her office chair rolling backwards and forwards because our entire floor is houseboards. I can hear cupboard doors opening and closing. I can hear clothes being moved around. I can hear just about every noise. And I'm there in bed going like, okay. And then I'm like, maybe she's got like this massive motivation to do a big clean because I've been cleaning and decluttering and it does tend to motivate her. I'm like, well, I can't wait till the morning and see what she's done. Anyway, her door flings open and she comes out like, oh. And I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, what is wrong? She's like, I can't find one of my earphones. I'm like, oh, no. Kira has noise cancelling headphones. They're Bose and they're uh, Bluetooth. So they fit inside a little case. They charge and she wears them. And apparently cause she has a loft bed. And she went to put them on the side cabinet thing and it fell and it hit on the ground. And when it hit on the ground, it hit at such an angle that the button to open the case, it hit that on the ground and the thing popped open. And both earbuds fell out. One just was next to the case and the other one, who knows where that was? So at like... 2.20 whatever in the morning I get up I'm searching through her room I'm picking up every piece of clothing because she's like it's in this direction I'm like okay she's done the same thing and every time I went to move something could do something she's like I've done that I'm like I, I know <laughs> and she's like constantly chatting to me and I'm like Garrett it's two o'clock in the morning Shh, I'm just trying to look for this thing oh, after about 25 minutes of looking I found her where I, the first place was it had bounced up into a little cupboard which is probably only about that high and it had bounced and then kind of moved over a little bit so I swear I looked there though because so, every time I went to look somewhere she's like I've already looked there I'm like okay and she's done exactly the same thing as me like you know pick up a boot and it's like three meters that way and gone it's not in there <laughs> oh and I said to her look just leave it go to bed We'll find it in the morning. It's clearly in here. I kept saying, are you sure it's not in your bed? Are you sure that you didn't know not put it in your bed? Yes, it's a, like, oh, my gosh. So, and then she's, you know, and then I've gone to bed. And then, of course, she's having to decompress for the next half an hour. So I can still hear her up. So 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm in bed going. <laughs> and then my alarm goes off at 9 o'clock. And I was like, Seriously? I did hit snooze this morning and got an extra nine minutes of sleep. Um, but then after that, I had to get up. Otherwise, it was going to be late because I, yeah, got a big drive and do all the things. So let's go and do our day and we'll see where we end up. Come here. Sammy. 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 Sammy, come up here. Yes. <gasps> Sammy, don't do that. You'll get in trouble. Sammy. Max. Max, are you not talking to me? Hello? Max. 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 Hello? Oh. 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 Yeah, 
Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Happy Friday. I thought I would just check in with you while Mr. Motorcycle Man is uh, clearly across the road. <laughs> but um, I'll forget if I don't check in right now. I'm mid-filming a video about budgeting and money. And yeah, just thought I'd check in and say hello. So a short day today, had a few things to do, but then came home early, didn't go to any shops. Oh, I know. It's probably going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and came home because I wanted to, yeah, get this filmed and get a few other bits and pieces done around the house. So, yeah, that was really good. Totally planned to get up this morning and film this, but I just couldn't get the motivation and the energy. And finally, when I kind of fell out of bed at 9.30, I was like, I need a coffee. And it took me ages to wake up this morning. And also, I would have come out to my car to film what I wanted to film. <sighs> Excuse me. But the neighbours next door decided to stand out on the street and have a chat. <laughs> they were so loud. I could hear them inside the house. And I thought, well, I can't exactly say, excuse me, I'm trying to work. Could you be quiet? Thank you very much. <laughs> so I just kind of sat and chewed at my computer until it was time to leave. And yeah, now I'm having to film this late in the afternoon with Mr. Motorcycle Guy across the road. That's just... <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to chat to you guys about oh, I just, I need your help <sighs> There are some people At Zumba Who, I understand personalities are different I really do But some people drive me up the wall And I can't handle a lot of the gossip slash panic That seems to come out of some people And I don't know what to do Because it's driving me insane so one person will come to Zumba, pay, and then go, what's happening with this thing? Like within a second, I think I've talked about it before. And she said to me today, uh, what's happening with school holidays? Are you taking a break? What's going on? And I said, I think so because there's school holiday programs running. So when we clash and so I will just take a break. So you're not running classes at all? I thought... Am I speaking English? <laughs> I said, no, not running classes at all. She said, right. Well, I won't be here anyway. I thought, oh my God, just breathe. Why do you need to know what's going on if you're not going to be here is what I thought in my head. I did not say that. I thought, oh my God. Anyway, not long after that, another lady walks in and so that lady then tells that lady oh I've just been told that she's not running um programming the holidays just thought I'd let you know I was the first to hear about it oh my god just stop it <laughs> and then she goes what what no holidays oh my god and then she runs to someone else and then this mass hysteria just starts and I am just ready to jump out the window and go you're on your own I don't know how to deal with that. I seriously am about to say that, lady. I'll make an announcement in a minute, which is what my husband said to me because he's really clever, which just annoys me. He said, just say to her, yep, I'll make a group announcement in a minute. And I said, I would, but you know what? And she's done this before. Has then gone. You know what? I asked her about this thing and she said to me that she'll tell everyone in a minute. So I don't know what's going on. And then they go and chat to other people and then like a wildfire. And part of me really wants to say to this lady, I really need you to stop with that behavior because it's starting to freak me out. And I am actually feeling really attacked by sometimes the way you speak to me and especially the trigger and the trickle effect that it starts having with other people. And then other people come up to me and go, what's going on? I just heard from her that blah, blah, blah. And I said, and I can't handle it. it. Like, there's a lot of things I can handle. But people coming up to me like that, like acting like they're missing out on stuff. So I don't know what to do. So I'm sharing it with you because a problem shared is a problem halved. And I'm really sorry if whoever is watching this, but I can't handle this anymore because... Hmm, just be polite. I'll be like, hey, I was just wondering what's happening with school holidays or whatnot. Oh, okay, cool. And then if someone comes up, maybe like, oh, 
you know, well, maybe you don't even say anything. <laughs> Just wait till I make an announcement. Uh, or if someone asks, oh yeah, um, she said no, but she's going to make an announcement later. And just leave it at that. <laughs> I just can't with people. <laughs> so please let me know because I'm shortly going insane. Oh, motorbike man has finished. So let's keep recording and I'll check in with you soon. Oh, no, my car is just connected to my daughter's iPod again. <laughs> Good morning, Kara. <laughs> let me turn the car off. <laughs> oh, let me straighten that. Oh, my gosh, that's terrible. Uh, happy Saturday, everybody. <laughs> oh, my gosh, today was already not good. And now we're just adding to it. First of all, I didn't sleep very well last night. Sometimes I get restless legs. And you know, you lie there and you go, you know. And then sometimes it's like a big kick. And I think, right, that's the last one. That's where we're going to sleep now. That's it, brain. Switch off. And if it keeps, it's just a little niggle. Sometimes I have to get up, walk up another corridor, go back to bed. I am exhausted usually after doing it two or three times. Last night, after about half an hour of lying there, I thought, that's it, I'm going to go get a heat bag. Because remember, last time you got a heat bag and you put it on there and you were asleep within two minutes. Of course, I lied there for about 10 minutes going, yeah, I should really go and get a heat bag. And then I went and got one. And then I put it on my hip, on my part of my back where, yeah, the nerve goes. And I was asleep within two minutes. Like, oh, like. But, you know, you lie there thinking, maybe, uh, maybe it'll go away. I just, so I woke up this morning at nine o'clock going, oh my gosh. And then I got to the hall that I teach Zumba and I couldn't remember the key code to get in the door. And I just went, ah, uh, and luckily the way that it's set up, it's not an electronic thing. So it's not like an alarm's going to go if, if I stuff it up or lock me out. And had to ring the hall manager and go, I've forgotten the code. And he's like, well, which thing do you use? And I said this. And he goes, do you use that all the time? I said, yeah. And he's like, how could you forget? I said, mate. <laughs> mate, let me tell you. I've got a new phone. Oh, yeah, I meant to talk to you guys. I've got a new phone. I have had this for a while, but I finally decided to actually put the SIM card in and use it as my phone. So it's just an Apple. And I purchased this from a friend for 50 bucks because she upgraded her phone. And so I bought that from her for 50 bucks. I was using it for a lot of my filming for YouTube and stuff. Funny, the camera is actually a clearer picture than the one I'm on. I actually have another iPhone that I used to record. This one I paid a little bit extra money for, but again, from my YouTube revenue. So thank you so much. You guys are own a part of this uh recording device and i have my old phone which um is still here but you know like <laughs> it's literally falling apart and it's dead as a doornail i could charge it and in here is all the notes with all the codes of everything because it didn't transfer to here did it and I've had two hauls that I've had to access this week with two brand new codes. And so I just stood there going. <laughs> and as one of the ladies said when she rocked up, then you panic. You go, oh my God. And I said, yeah, because everyone just started rocking up and just stood there staring at me. So I was like, uh. So then oh, when I got it, I got it in. And then. I was trying to redo the code to close the thing. And do you think it would work? And I was like, oh, you've got to be joking. So I thought, I'm going to have to ring him back at the end of session and go, the code is not working because I got the key out. Then I couldn't get the thing to go back in. <laughs> Just, 
Oh, just insane. So I sent him a text message and basically said that. So, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. But yeah, I've had two new hauls to visit this week with codes. I swapped phones. The info didn't transfer and I literally just had a mental blank. I know it's the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, but you know what? <laughs> I've had a lot of things happen this week. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> Just crazy. Um, a lady gave me some lemons from her lemon tree. We do have a lemon tree, but I think with all the water and stuff we've had, they're a little bit fat. Um, but I'll probably still pull them out and juice them because I like lemon butter. Uh, so I'll probably actually make some of that because I've got butter in the fridge and I will make some of that. My mum likes it, so I'll make some for her as well. And then today I need to film a YouTube video, what's new, uh, probably all about the socials that we have and different ways to connect because often people on YouTube are like, oh, I'd love to send you a picture. How do I do that? So uh, I'll tell you that as well. You can go watch that video or you can connect with me on Instagram on our Facebook page, in our Facebook group, uh, TikTok, or Discord, or chatting here on YouTube. So all the links will be down below. There is, it's called a link tree. If you click on that, it opens every mortal thing with um, what there is. So I've got all the links that are there individually, and then the link tree is the whole thing. Um, and in there will be hopefully two um, links for any survey sites, side hustles, whatever's really good. I'll put info in there for you guys. Uh, and then we're going to Big W because the toy sale is on, even though my children are older. <laughs> uh, Lego is still Lego <laughs> and much loved. So if we go and they can collect a couple of things and I'll put them away for Christmas and then that's Christmas done. So it saves me. I get 10% off for being a Woolworths Everyday Extras member. So that's totally worth it. I'll buy a Woolworths a gift card, a Wish gift card online beforehand. So I'll save 4 or 5%, I think it is. And yeah, double, double your savings. And then I think that's about it. Then Saturday will be done. <laughs> so let's go and do all the things. I wonder if I could go to Big W in my slippers. <laughs> so I'm off to the shops. Checking in <laughs> with my scarf. I couldn't find my snood. No idea where it is. I do need to find it though. Um, and I brought a cube cup with me and I've got coffee um, that I've literally just drunk <laughs> which is good because now I don't have to carry it around in the shop which I was worried about I got it out of the cupboard though and Kira said to me I said can I borrow this and she's like yeah but that's the cup that had orange juice in it I'm like oh okay and you could smell it but I just had my coffee and I didn't taste anything funny about it <laughs> So I don't know. She has other keep cups and we we used to have other keep cups as well and we've got rid of them because um I forget to wash things out. <laughs> but I like this one because it's mini. The top is a screw top as well and it's got a good depth of the screw. It's not just like the lid that you pop on, but yeah. Um all right, we need to go to the shops. Mm -hmm. 